Hey guys, it's Jess from Aerial Yoga Life. Welcome to my theme of the day for the flying around the world. Today, I've chosen the theme of freedom. So we're going to start with opening up the fabric and folding it twice. So grabbing one edge and swinging it out. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And now grab the other side and fold it once. And then I'm gonna fold it one more time. The more I fold it, the, le the higher it is from the ground. So from here, I'm going to bring one leg all the way through to the other side and come into a squatting position. Coming into the fabric, we come into a deep wide-legged squat or Asian squat and we bring our palms together and bringing them down into a straight line, feeling our knees spread a little wider apart, our glutes are activated. We can feel our hips opening here. You can take a little sway from side to side, leaning back a little bit in the fabric. If you need a deeper stretch, we can bring our fists together and come into a straight line, which forces our knees apart a little bit more. If this is too intense, we can come back to our palms. If this is too intense as well, just play with the stretching by lifting your palms up and down. From here, we're going to lean back a little bit so that we can widen our feet, straightening one leg, toes flexed to the ceiling, and we come into a twist, reaching one hand to the ground and one hand up to the sky, opening up our shoulder towards the sky. If you feel like it, you can take try taking a bind bending one elbow behind my back and binding it with my other hand, opening up my shoulder towards the sky, taking a deeper twist. From here, we're gonna go change to the other side. So releasing our bind, we can bring our hands wide or back to the hammock for some, some, for some support. And taking a half circle towards the back, straightening both legs and bending on the other side. Whoop. And then bending on the other side straightening and engaging our quad to protect our knee, flexing our toes up to the sky. We can bring our shoulder to our knee, straightening our arm back and to the side as far as possible and opening up towards the sky with our other hand. If you would like, you can take a bind or try to take a bind here, bending our elbow around towards our back, the back of our hand on our upper thigh, bending and grabbing that hand opening up our shoulder towards the sky, keeping that toe flexed and strong, feeling a nice twist in our back. And when you're ready, we can release, remembering to breathe. Coming back to center, let's bring our feet back into an Asian squat position. We can take a little rock from side to side here, relaxing our hips and our legs. From here, we're going to stand up. So reaching up onto the fabric to help pull us up into a standing position. We're going to widen our hands up wide and up above our head. We're going to engage our core as we turn around through the middle of the fabric, turning our feet into a bit of a lunge position, reaching towards the top of the mat as far as possible, further than our foot, so that we can come onto our tiptoes at the back and bring our foot through the middle of the fabric easily. Coming into a downward dog position, pushing heels to the floor, shoulders are relaxed and away from our ears, hips to the sky. Engaging our core, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna come into a three-legged dog on our right leg. So straightening that right leg up towards the sky, keeping our hips square. We're then going to bend our knee to find the hammock and straighten back up again into three-legged dog. From here, we keep our shoulders square towards the floor in a straight line as we bend our top leg and open up 
our knee to face the ceiling whilst keeping our shoulders squared. Core is engaged and we continue to breathe as we keep opening up, tightening our glute to lift our knee further. From here, we're going to continue bending our foot towards the ground as we come into a wild thing variation. Lifting our right hand from the ground, we swing it around towards the top and opening up. So the hammock is taking a lot of my bottom weight and my top left hand shoulder is working really hard still. From here, we can come into a plank variation, side plank variation, opening up and straightening from my ankle to my shoulder and my shoulders are straight and my hips are stacked as well. From here, we grab the hammock with both hands. I lift my foot from the ground and swing it through the middle to meet my other knee. From here, I grab both sides of the fabric, straightening my legs, pulling up with my hands and bringing my knees to the ground. Take a big breath. You may have forgotten to breathe. Inhale, exhale, resetting. We're doing our heart opening exercises here. So hands come off and clasping behind our head at the base of our skull. Elbows push back, shoulders are relaxed and down. Keep our core and glutes engaged, protecting our lower back. And lean back into the fabric, pushing forward with our hips and elbows towards the ground. From here, we can take a little sway if it feels good. Remembering to breathe, inhale and exhale. Coming back to centre, grabbing the hammock again to pull ourselves up. From here, we're going to come into our inversion. So we grab the hammock high, lifting up to move our feet to the ground into a chair position. We then lean back into the fabric. We then lean back into the fabric, looking up towards the sky. We raise one knee at a time into a frog position, knees wide, toes together, bringing the soles of our feet in front of the hammock. We slide our hands down, looking to the ground to protect our neck. Hands plant to the ground, pushing our arms straight. We then walk to the top of the mat as far as you can, and then relax our shoulders towards the ground, melting our heart. Continuing to breathe here. We're gonna move straight into our handstand. So we're going to raise our head to look to our hands, walk our hands underneath our shoulders, and then pushing up straight. We straighten our legs as well, engaging our core to protect our lower back and straightening up into a handstand. See if you can find your balance Fingertips pushing, pressing into the ground. <laughs> Try and find your balance here. Pushing away, engaging the core, engaging our thighs, becoming a board. Five, four, three, two, one. And keeping our legs straight, releasing our hand grip to soften onto our elbows as we bend our legs. We flip our head to look to our hammock, reaching up, grabbing underneath our knees, bring the soles of our feet to the other side of the, to the back of the hammock. And with control, climb our hands up, coming back into our knee, kneeling position. We then reach up high with our hands, and release our shoulders in front of the hammock to lean forward and stretch the front part of our shoulders. You can take a little swing here. You can intensify this stretch by straightening your arms or make it more gentle by bending your arms. Reset here. We're going to drop our hips towards our feet and release the hammock and coming into 
kneeling. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. Feel yourself recenter. We grab the hammock, fists face down. Bring the hammock into the crease of your hips where your hip flexor is underneath your bone. Dropping our hips down, bending forward into a child pose position. Keeping the hammock in the hip crease, bend our elbows on the ground and slide our chest forward, coming into a cobra position. Straightening our arms, tightening our glutes to protect our lower back. From here, we're going to come into our restorative hip flexor position, walking our feet back until we're underneath our plumb line, underneath the hammock. Hands cactus to the side and relax your knees and your head to the ground. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, relax. Inhale last time and relax even deeper. Take as long as you need here and then when you're ready, we're gonna come out of this pose by planting our palms next to our shoulders and pushing up back into a cobra and then coming back through to a child pose position. Rolling our spine up, back onto our knees. Thank you so much for joining me today in my flow of freedom. I really look forward to seeing your submissions on how you find freedom in your practice. I'll be choosing a winner who will win a one month free membership to Rebecca Leach's Born to Fly curriculum, where she has an extensive video library full of lots of different circus apparatuses, but particularly for, uh, for sling and aerial yoga is the ones that I really love. Thank you so much for joining me on the last day of the Flying Around the World Challenge.